Aaron, this is certainly an exciting day in Boston, and it's really just getting started. We had the opportunity to go around this morning and speak with people from New Hampshire at the finish line, many anxiously awaiting for this exciting and emotional day to begin. People from all over the world are lined up at the finish line on Boylston Street in Boston. The marathon means a lot to a lot of people. James Barnes is from Alston, Massachusetts and is here wearing his support for the runners. It's always good to cheer on the runners and show your support. Many coming to support friends like this man who came all the way from Italy. I think this is one of the best marathon in the world. Many are walking around with Boston Strong on t-shirts and hats in support of the victims of the tragedy in 2013. Kevin Brown makes a memorial each year for the victims and their families. I've always come to the marathon, so and now I get involved in uh, the whole thing, so now I just keep on doing it for the families. Ryan Feria is from Hudson, New Hampshire, and came to support his dad. I think just generally speaking, kind of seeing all these people struggle through to the finish line, being here just a tenth of a mile away is inspiring and motivational. Paula Mercier and her friends are here to support her partner, Nancy. My partner is running this today for her fifth time. Yeah, so it's great. We were here in 2013. We're here today. This is our first time to the marathon, and it's really incredible to be able to sort of witness it and feel the energy and the, the sort of power of the other runners. And among all of the spectators, there's a strong group of volunteers from New Hampshire. Amanda McCann is a physical therapist from Nashua and is here to help. Um, I'm a runner myself. Um, I've been volunteering since 2011, and um, I actually ran Boston in 2014. And... Um, it's just it's just a great thing to be a part of and to give back. There are so many dedicated volunteers here today in Boston to help. Amanda is just one of many physical therapists that we interviewed from New Hampshire this morning. We'll have much more on New Hampshire's presence here in Boston coming up tonight at 5 and 6. Reporting live in Boston, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.